What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 Warlords of New York video. Now, uh, we are all grinding through the levels and you can see in the top right of your screen I am level 39. This is going to be a little tips and tricks video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy it. If you guys enjoy this in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments for me at all, let me know in the comment section below. And if you are new to the channel, Welcome, I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and ring that notification bell. That way you get notified each and every time I bring you guys another Division 2 video. Whew, that's a mouthful. Anyways, let's get into this. This is going to be tips and tricks. How to get 1 million armor before level 40. Level 40, of course, is the end game is what I'm talking about. I currently have 1 million armor without being level 40. I am level 39 and I was actually uh, had a million armor at level 38 and I'll show you guys exactly how to do that. So just uh, looking over the build you can see they're mainly purples and a zero F's chess piece. Um, I, I actually have a lot of purples even my primary is a purple. Um, the reason for this is I crafted each of these pieces. Um, yes, the RNG is not the best right now, and the average rolls are pretty low in the open world. However, if you craft, you know, 5 to 10 of these pieces each, I guarantee you will find something nice. I have not recalibrated all of these pieces, so yes, this could get a lot better, but this is just for me to level up because as you can see I'm right there about to hit 40 so I'm just maintaining this build that way I can hit 40 very easily and then just keep going into the end game um, but yeah so first and foremost in the clan vendor we'll we'll knock that out first so a big part of it is the clan vendor the clan vendor changes every time you level up um, the items might not change but the stats most definitely do change. For example, this is a level 39 zero F's chess piece. This is uh, what I've been doing every few levels. I'll buy one and then I'll just, you know, put that one on and upgrade it. You know what I mean? That way I maintain the perfectly unbreakable for all this PVE we are doing. But I also am able to progress in my sustainability because having perfectly unbreakable with a million armor is really nice I'm telling you right now it's really really nice uh, also right here this tactical MK16 is an AR with God rolled AR damage and that scales as well so every level you go up come to the clan vendor and you can get max AR damage and you can get a zero F's chest piece also a nice little pistol right here but this these gloves right here also scale and they are also god rolled so you can get weapon damage you can get uh, high armor on your knee pads you can get a nice pistol you can get AR damage for your weapon and you can get zero F's uh, th this is just a no-brainer you guys and not only that but a lot of these mods are just getting better and better so that is my first little tip and trick because you can see I am running these zero F's now the other tip that I was showing you guys is crafting. Now, now when you hit level 36, I believe, you will get what is called a superior crafting bench. And here it is. Now what it means by superior is you can see right there below where it says open menu, it says superior level 39. So it's scaling to my level as we go, but I unlocked the, the su superior part in level 36. So at least level 36, you'll be able to do this, guaranteed. But level 39, you'll really be able to do it because I haven't even recalibrated my stuff yet. So you go into here and you get all of your blueprints from year one and they scale. So what I did is I went with Gilligard mask because you get the total armor and the health. Then I went with the Gilligard backpack swerve right here the banner pack for gloves I went with Fenris because uh, you get in all the AR damage so you might as well go with Fenris 
For the chess piece, obviously I did zero Fs from the clan vendor. For the holster, I went with the 511 because the 511 now, the first brand set bonus you get is 10% health and that's pretty key as well. And then finally the knee pads. I went with uh, another thing of Badger Tough because I am using the zero Fs chess piece so I get 5% total armor for using two Badger Tough. And then that's how I did it, you guys. No mods necessary. All I did was craft a few, use the best ones that I've got, and all of a sudden I'm at 1 million armor and 321,000 health. Not too bad. That's a very easy guide. You don't have to use all your materials. You don't have to really recalibrate anything. You could just craft them and then just use the best ones you crafted. And then when you level up, you could do it again. I mean, it's very easy, and it takes not a lot of materials. So... Just make sure you dismantle all your level 30 stuff that you don't want, get all your materials that way, and then by the time you hit level 36, you'll get this crafting bench, and boom, you can craft yourself 1 million armor and gear. But alright you guys, I hope that helped. I don't want to waste your time too much. I know everyone's grinding. So just make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.